Tabatolo originated from a dream of a person by the name of Tilman Luden. The idea of Tabatolo was to leave behind a conservation legacy for the generations to come, something of tangible worth, tangible value to the subsequent generations in South Africa. Tabatolo started approximately 27 and a half years ago. Tabatolo consists out of 22 different, predominantly cattle farms that were purchased and lumped together to be one large economical unit as well as one large ecological unit. And it comprises presently a surface area of 37,100 hectares. But it's a large property that houses the big five. It houses rare and endangered species. And that is part of what we do. We do not have any commercial tourism. The enterprise generates money and pays for itself by way of live game sales. Approximately 85 to 90 percent of the income is generated from live sales and the rest is generated from hunting income, meat sales and also an agricultural sector. Tabatolo has five different sections on the farm. It consists of an intensive breeding unit whereby initially rare and endangered animals were bred the idea was actually to breed numbers quickly and efficiently to populate the free roaming area. If you have 35 odd thousand hectares, you cannot from the start buy enough stocks, especially rare and endangered animals like roan antelope, sable antelope, disease-free buffalo, um, those kind of animals to um, populate all of it all at once. The agricultural sector comprises of irrigation property, pivots, um, whereby first and foremost we produce um, animal feed and the idea of the feed production is to be self-sustainable. Whether we go into a drought or whether in a normal wet year, we produce enough food to see to our animals first and foremost. Any overproduction is commercially sold and the income generated from that goes back into the conservation enterprise. We have a maintenance section, once again a manager with his own people and a budget and the maintenance section is um, responsible for all the maintenance tasks like fencing, roads, water supply to the animals. We have a, a bush clearing section which is um, actually habitat creation and habitat main maintenance, meaning that its scope is far beyond just bush clearing. Um, and the bush clearing is traditionally where the habitat was ruined by bush encroachment, that we would selectively clear those areas back to the, to the savanna, natural savanna felt that it used to be here. Uh, but it's more than that, we have to maintain those areas, we have to um, do felt management, felt monitoring annually, uh, um, carrying capacity determination every year, balancing sex and age ratios, that kind of thing as well. We have a security section which consists out of a manager with his rangers and their main function is literally to keep the animals safe on the property and it includes all the animals, not just the rhino, but it includes the, the buffalo, the other animals against poaching. It also safeguards against normal criminal activities. The rangers would um, patrol day and night and be very dedicated people to try to safeguard such a large area against common criminality and poaching criminality. Despite the fact that we, that we have these five sections all running concurrently and all of them contributing to make this enterprise successful. We have 
a responsibility as well. The, this farm is built on a couple of pillars and those pillars have to be equally strong. The first pillar is obviously your, um, your nature pillar or the ecological pillar, meaning that we have to look after our natural resources as best as we can. Not just the animals, but the water, the food, the soil, everything associated to make this as comfortable and as productive for the animals as possible. The second leg that it's found on is your people, personnel. To ensure that the people who work for Tabatolo is taken care of better than when these were 22 different cattle farms. We have social upliftment programs. We have schools that, we, that we've built on the property. And we have five different rural schools that we support in the area. The third leg that this was built on is obviously a financial leg. We need to be financially independent. We have no sponsorships. None of the shareholders put money into the enterprise. We have to make it pay for itself. And that in itself is a, is a huge challenge. Tabatolo's slogan or our motto is that we breed trust. We don't just breed animals. The whole idea is to have such a solid foundation in conservation that you can take these animals not just to populate South Africa and not just to sell to our clients, but to do more than that, to build relationships with people, to build a conservation legacy that can be expanded up into Africa, where Africa's lost a lot of their natural resources through poaching or overutilization. South Africa is in a position to repopulate again, to put that which we've lost, to put it back again. And I'm talking about not just quantity, but talking about quality, and not just trophy quality, but body size quality, animals that are vigorous, vibrant, and that can survive back in nature. And I think Tabatolo is in a position after 27 years to start putting back reality into these African expansion programs. So that's part of the vision, is to, to put back what, what we as man have taken out, overutilized, to put that back into nature again.